All right. Hey, everyone, this is Zoran Sahar, and I have the wonderful Sharvari and, of course, Abhay uh, Varma with me for the upcoming film Munjia, releasing on the 7th of June. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Thank you so much for having us, Zoran. Yeah. Not at all. This is, of course, a horror comedy, and I think uh, it speaks volumes from just the trailer itself. Sharvari, you have done some interesting work in your past. What kind of drew you to this film? Um, honestly, I was actually at Madoc, uh, and I would I wanted to I basically wanted to collaborate with Madoc, and I was there to meet Dinesh Vision. I want and I was there to ask for work, and I had literally right. met him, and I and I said that you know I've been looking for work for a little bit, and I'm you know waiting for that one exciting project, and I'm I just want something to click, and if there's something right. at Madoc, then I really really want to work with y'all because. I mean, at that point, I really wanted to work. I wanted to right. be on a set, you know. Uh, sure. And instantly he said that, you know, there's something that we changed this morning and I have a script. And then he just did this whole vague thing and said that you're perfect for it. So meet the director now. And I was <laughs> like, wow, that's quick. You know, that was yeah. really, really quick. So I met the director and he started talking about Munja, which comes from this Maharashtrian folklore, which I was always aware of. And I said that, wait, okay. that's, that's strange. Like, you know, how we like, I know everything about this, you know. So I just thought that it was a sign from the universe and instantly I just wanted to be a part of it. Right. Abe, you know, taking leave from what Jasharvari said, and I think there is so much of uh, the world of films which kind of just happens and I'm a big believer of that myself. Sometimes, no matter how much you plan, uh, things uh, are very different from what they are when you walk on the set. Um, as an actor, uh, do, you, do you kind of come very well prepared or are you more sort of an instinctive guy, sort of go with the flow? Uh, um, uh, I actually, uh, so there are different processes to every uh, film as such. Uh, yeah. And that's what, that's what makes our job interesting because you're not following the same path throughout your career. And Correct. that's the, that's one of the main reasons where I, <laughs> I've been, I mean, which inclined me also to uh, choose this profession because I'm sure. not a disciplined guy at all. I have to admit <laughs> And I, I need some changes in life from time to time. And this makes me allow, this allows me to, you know, change my uh, time schedule or uh, my mindset from time to time. So as sure. far as this film was, yeah, as far as this film was concerned, it was actually, uh, it sounds easy. Uh, so our director actually said that you just come to set and just, of course, remember your lines and everything uh, else, but just come to set and just have fun. You know, and that have fun, those are just two words which are very easy to say. But for an actor, is it, it is very difficult because I am, uh, you know, as an actor, you want to put in more. You want to add to right. the table more. You want to you wanna do something so that you feel important and you feel intellectual at times. So... Yeah. Uh, so, so that's that's what an actor's uh, mind uh, uh, speaks to himself. And uh, here, we just wanted to uh, director just wanted us to have fun, which which is a very tricky space to tap on and is difficult also. Yeah. I completely yeah. agree to that. And yeah. uh, these were the lines of our director. And uh, you know, in such kind of films, you can't just work uh, singularly. You yeah. have to have a good camaraderie between the actors. And thankfully, I mean, uh, it's my fortunate, uh, uh, I mean, thing that I got such incredible co-actors with me for Sharvari, Mona Ma'am, uh, Taran, and uh, Bhagyashri, and Satyarad sir, who is a legend, uh, yeah. including Mona Ma'am. So these are the actors, you know, where, where, where I got the opportunity to collaborate with. And the camaraderie is something which I would really like to take in, take in uh, from Munja because that's where uh, that's where the film wins. You know, it is it's a film where you can't just singularly act and take on your shoulders. Uh, so uh, I mean, uh, so it was that kind of a process where you just had to be there and just have fun. Wow, sounds very exciting. Uh, Sharvari, what Abhay just mentioned, and I know Mona is not with us right now, but what was it like uh -huh. sharing screen space with her? She's obviously sort of been a seasoned actress for quite some time now. And, um, you know, whatever Mona always does, ever since from Jesse Jesse Koinai, yeah. uh, she obviously had a very, very interesting career graph. What was it like sort of uh, being in this kind of a film with her? Honestly, I remember uh, Jesse Jesse Koinai and I remember that we used to watch it you know, on our televisions every single day. Uh, yeah. You know, it used to come Monday to Friday and we used to at like eight o'clock sharp and we used to sit there and we used to just like watch it because it was one of those family shows. It was a show led by a woman uh, and, you know, me and my sister, obviously, uh, being two young girls, our parents 
you know in wanted us to watch something that represented something like this and uh, mona ma'am i think has you know she's a terrific actor and she's an even terrific person i think that that speaks volumes of her that she is way more incredible as a person you know and she's already incredible as an actor so look at the benchmark that she's setting for everybody else uh, and for, a, for for like a budding actress i think that the choices that she has made um and nothing short of an inspiration you know she goes by her gut she right. uh, makes these choices that are non conventional and uh, people love her for it you know and True. myself included so i think that she's a great example and an inspiration and working with her was just so easy right right well uh, let me just wrap up by asking the two of you are we starting with you what is the one thing that the audience should look forward to on the 7th of june in in sort of a, in a in a sentence you know wherever you travel in the world you just feel like you should be surrounded with your loved ones and you share that emotion with them or the experience right. with them so mundi right. is such kind of a film where you would not want to go alone but rather go with your near and dear ones with your friends or family and uh, just have a, a giggle and get scared together and experience different kind of emotions all together which will ultimately create some great memories for future very true very true and sharvari what about you i would say that a uh, horror comedy is a very contagious kind of a uh, genre and uh, we hope that we uh, from the screens are able to pass it on to you all and i hope that you all can pass it on to your uh, near and dear ones with the uh, word of mouth and you know and and i i would love for this film to be super contagious uh, where people are laughing through the theater and also getting scared Very true. Well, can't wait to watch it on the seventh of June. Wishing you both all the very best and good luck for Thank it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Zoran. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. My you. pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.